of Americans got a little extra cash added to their bank account today. The IRS sent its first wave of stimulus checks to eligible U.S. residents. ABC 17's Amber Tabling is live in Columbia tonight. And Amber, it's been a topic that a lot of us have talked about recently, and people are still wondering who is and who isn't eligible. Deborah, there's been a lot of questions regarding who's eligible for these stimulus checks. I spoke with Central Bank of Boone County to see if they've been given any additional information, and they told me they have not. They've been given the same information that's on the IRS website, and they don't want to give anyone any misinformation. So they're directing everyone to that IRS.gov website to determine on their own if they are eligible. According to the IRS website, Website, those who are considered eligible for the payments up to $1,200 per person are listed as U.S. citizens and resident aliens with valid social security numbers who cannot be claimed as dependents with incomes under certain limits, while parents and guardians will also get $500 per child. The IRS website also states that retirees and recipients of Social Security, railroad retirement, disability, or veterans benefits, as well as taxpayers who don't make enough money to normally file a tax return, will receive payments as well. Central Bank is trying to encourage people to go to the IRS website to make sure they've updated their information. Yeah, you know, $1,200 can mean a lot to a person, and so when when they didn't get it today, they want to know why, and, you know, we do our best to answer those questions, but we, we have no more information from the IRS than anybody that else that goes to that website, which, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. We want to help as much as we can, so... And later at 6, we'll dive deeper into those waves of people getting the stimulus checks as well as the different filings. Live in Columbia, Amber Tabling, ABC 17 News. All right, thanks, Amber. And in an unprecedented move, you might notice the president's signature on printed stimulus checks. 